Hello everybody and welcome back. Apologies for the inconvenience of my computer breaking there. Uh, I am going to grab a quick drink and take free as Josh says. Third time lucky. I'm going to grab a quick drink and then we will jump in and play some tram sim. Um, if you know anybody who was watching and you want to send them a link or someone post it in the general section of Discord or something like that, I'm more than happy for uh, anybody to do that just so people can hopefully, hopefully find us again. Um, yeah, just going to grab a drink, give us two or three minutes and we'll jump in and uh, start again. and welcome we're gonna pretend like this is the first time we've done this welcome to dad Round. my name is Richard I'm a mainline freight train driver former passenger train driver and current freight train driver based in the set have I done that bit I've done that bit haven't I hello and welcome all the same um, like I say we're gonna pretend this is the first time we've done this although it has crashed twice already and uh, we are playing tram sim Vienna so before we jump into the stream, and as always, I've got to tell you that all the views and opinions expressed within this video are solely my own, may not reflect those of any companies I may be employed by or associated with. Josh, Pig and Bob, Ashley Coles, Peter G, Artie, uh, Vince, Gareth, Kemp, 84, and GJ. Great to have you all here. Hopefully everyone who was watching on the last stream will uh, will find us eventually. So we are going to be having all of our usual features. We are going to be having locomotive location delivery. I have set up a new picture as well because someone's forgot to do the editing and the box just revealed the locomotive number. So we'll come back to that one at a later date on a different stream. Anyway, without further ado, let's press that button right there. Let's jump in. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with this computer, why it's beast why a blue screen of death going on there. Um, I think I've got I've got to run a RAM check on it and some various other bits and bobs. It could be that or it could be that's just running a little bit hot. Um, maybe it's time to look at the thermal paste on the processor or something. Right, anyway, create a new game. Let's do this. I tell you what we're gonna do. We're, we're gonna mix it up a little bit, I reckon. We'll keep it in timetable mode. We'll change the vehicle. We've only got the choice of the flexity, flex, flexity or the E2. We'll change it to the E2. We'll mix it up a little bit. Um, and we'll run it on Route 71. But again, we'll keep this kind of dynamic weather theme going on. Um, we'll go from sunny to rainy. Uh, 12 o'clock. Let's do 1600 again. And just press start game. Let's jump in. Uh, Trains from Somerset. Hello, Stu. How's Mumrail? Um, long suffering, but bearing up, I think is. <laughs> if I might put it that way. Norton Prince of Productions, have we just streamed this? Yeah, but the computer decided it was going to blue screen of death on me, so. So we are, we are, uh, this is, no, this is the first time we're doing this, I promise. If you are re-watching this later on, this is the first time we're doing it. Let's 
loading, 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 loading. Right, we are in. We are running Route 71. Uh, and we are now in a classic sort of train type thing. Let's jump outside and have a look at what we're working with. A little bit more old school than the other one. So you can get the add-on trams for this route, this game. Um, and I do need to look into doing that. Because I do quite enjoy playing this. So, yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with the game. Other than the fact we crashed into another tram. That was definitely my punishment, wasn't it? Uh, Ashley, not too bad, thank you. How about yours? Oh, I like the sounds on that. Right. Oh, crikey. And... I'm guessing it's the same buttons for the doors. It's not the same buttons for the doors. Right, okay, so we're going to have to sort of work out what we're doing here. Um, we've got indicators. Uh, so let's go to settings, control, uh, da -da 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 -da, general controls, cockpit, interior, VR, 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 vehicle control. Um, door release, home and end. Why would it be different on here to the other train that's really or the other tram I should say that's really annoying okay home to release <coughs> end to bing bong right we got the road let's go Mandatory bell. Okay, that's a long, a long distance between stops there. Schoppentor. Umsteigen zu U2, 37, 38, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 1A. Let it do its announcement. Oh, sorry to hear that, Ashley. That's uh, it's never a good day. Yes, yeah, Stu, um, I crashed into another tram, and I drive trains in real life. I'm sure management... <laughs> yeah, I drive trains in real life. This is a tram. Uh, no, it was intentional. We stopped in front of the other one, and uh, this kind of... This <coughs> excuse me, this game has a mechanic um, where if you ram into the tram in front of you, it will just delete it. So I'd done that to delete it, and then the whole game crashed, and the computer be sodded, and it was like... You know, end of the world sort of punishment thing. Definitely don't want that to be happening. Right, we've got the A. I've closed the doors. It's just taking a long time to close. Right, what am I doing wrong? Right, we're going to be seeking advice from the community. How do, how do we make this thing work? Lights are just flashing at me. Right, what have we done wrong? I haven't practiced with this tram. I've only practiced with the other one. Right, control. Um... That's all the VR kind of stuff. Right, vehicle control. Accelerate, neutral, deaccelerate. Emergency brake, left indicator, right indicator, bell. Illuminated push button, door one. Number pad nine. Open or close all. Maybe we need to do this. Open or close all, number pad three. We've, we would... Uh, right, okay, let's try that number... Okay, number. 
All right, okay, that makes sense. So we kind of got to... Does it make sense? Is that working now? Right, okay, I don't know what we've done, but it appears to work. I wasn't expecting to go that way. Right, we are off. Rathausplatz, Burgtheater. Let me know if you need the game audio up or down, guys. I'm aware it... Okay. We weren't supposed to stop there. That's all right. Got to stop at this next one. Let me know if you want the game audio up or down. I think it might be a little bit loud. It's coming through quite loud on my headphones, so we'll um, take the liberty of toning it down. Right, we've got the road on that one. I don't know, car drivers, eh? Oh, well, this is the stop we mentioned before that's kind of right in the middle of... Right in the middle of the track there. Although it didn't actually light up, so I'm not sure if it wanted me to stop there. Anyone getting on and off? Okay, maybe not. I've got to try and remember what we've done now to get these doors working last time. Is that it? There we go. Uh, Stu, you should always look at the points you approach and make sure the correct route is applied to your train. Now I'm worried about you. I, d I don't know what route I'm supposed to be taking, Stu. That's the problem. I did ask that question earlier. Do do I need to know the route as a as a tram driver, or is the route going to be set for me? Parlament, umsteigen zu zwei in Richtung Dornbach. See if we can get further than we did last time here. There we go. Got the signal. Uh, Nick, Richard, do trams need track circuits? I don't know if they do have track circuits, because trams is, is kind of... You drive on line of sight, don't you? I guess they've got to have some sort of sensor system for the, the signals and stuff, but... Um, Vita, hi Rich, just about to start my career as a depot driver. Any advice or tips would be highly appreciated. Um, respect everybody and ask lots of questions, Vita. Depot driver is a really good job. I I done that job. It's one of the best jobs I've had on the railway. Um, please stop. Uh, by an absolute country mile, it's a really really good job. Um, yeah, just take the time to speak to people. If you treat people with respect and you give people the time, um, people will pass on their knowledge to you, which will be absolutely invaluable. We supposed to be, we are supposed to be stopping here. People are getting on. Well, hey, I mean, Sin who's driving. That's uh, probably not wise. Crazy says most junctions are set themselves. So all we've got to do is just follow the signals, keep stopping at the stations, and try not to crash. And the same goes for the computer. Right, that's got an X on it, so that is a effectively a distant that's telling us what the next one is let's just come off to proceed and um, we can see there's a tram in France there's no point going too fast yeah typical Nathan as a depot driver you effectively you're just shunting trains around the depot um, depending on where you're based you might be able to go on the main line so when I was based at Ashford we used to take trains from the depot to the station um, and you drive within the we've got the depot at Ashford and the sidings Volksteater. 
very congested tram network. I'm just kind of stopping every time I see one of these tram stops. I don't know which one we're supposed to be stopping at, which line or... But people are getting on, so we must be doing something right. People are getting on. Crazy place, but if you're following closely behind another tram that is going on a different way than yours, you should wait before the junction until the one in front has cleared it. Good advice. Okay. We are learning. Crazy place. I'm glad you're here. You're, you're... This is an education in how we should be doing it. Right, we've got the road across. This is almost where we had our little incident last time. Like I say, I'm not entirely sure what the speed limit is, so... We're just kind of winging it. Um, the road is set round to the left here. That's your favourite tram, um, Karis Monia. I'm I'm probably more of a fan of the heritage stuff than what I am the uh, the local stuff. To be honest, if yet to be fair. You can't you can't beat the low the sort of heritage trams. I like going to Lisbon. They've got the um, the really old like San Francisco streetcar style trams. There's a video on my channel of that somewhere. It's one of the first videos I made. Um, with my lovely wife on there. I just closed that door. How dare you? What is going on? Right, now it's working. Uh, there's no point going too mad. We'll have a nice gentle run. We'll see if this... We can let this... Oh, we've got to stop now anyway because the signal's gone back to danger. Do we stop here, this side of the junction, or do we stop up? Oh, I assume that's for the person on the crossing there. Um... Train boy, hi Dabra, can we play locomotive flication if we we absolutely can, we have done a reset on this. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. So if you've not seen this game before, post your numbers in the chat between one and thirty-six, and we will play locomotive livery location. Well, it's given the tram in front a little bit of an opportunity to get away from us. So we won't go too mad. Um, GJ, you are the third number on my screen with number 16. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. So I'm going to give you box number 16. 10 seconds for the Locomotive Livery Location, if you can. And this is a new picture now sent in by Logan. What is it? Where is it? Let me know your thoughts. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Actually, there is a steam train. Four, four, eight, seven, one tomorrow. I can't wait. Uh, Astro, I'm good. How are you, my friend? I'm better now it's working, or sort of working. So far, so good. Touch wood. Uh, RT, it's not a 33. <laughs> what do we reckon? Trains from Somerset, 91. Great, the train guy. DVT, LNER. Ashley Coles, class 52, Deltec. Typical Nathan, DVT, LNER at King's Cross. It's red, as Strudy says. That's all I know. You're not wrong. I 
I'm sure there's like an underground section on this route as well that we do at some point. See how far around we can get before the game gives up on me. Uh, typical Nathan, I think it's a DVT at King's Cross. It could well be. So the A is telling me to get ready to go. And we are off. Uh, crazy, yeah, it's on line one. Ah, so we're probably not going to see it then. That's a little bit of a shame. Schwarzenbergplatz. I have no idea what the speed limit is. I'm kind of... I'm reckoning it's going to be like 30k or something like that. That kind of sort of sounds quite reasonable. Oh, that was almost Team Biscuits with the manager. I so on the other one, we were getting kind of the little stop car markers in the um, forefoot. We're not getting anything on this. So I'm kind of just... Kind of just pulling all the way up and hoping for the best. But people are getting on. It's 50 kilometers an hour. Oh, wow, that's... Um... Yeah, that that's... A lot faster than I was expecting it to be. Um, Connor, yeah, it's just flagged up on my screen saying that um, the stream's not very smooth. So I need to pay for fibre internet. That's, that's going to be the best thing to do. Once I sort of work out why the computer isn't isn't working the way it should. Straight ahead and right is good to go. Not anymore. Signal's gone back to danger against me. It's not supposed to do that. Bit of game lag. Yeah, no, that's fine. The stream should be all good again now. It's just um, my internet connection was uh, playing silly buggers. We do have... Uh, we've got full fibre to the premises that's just been installed. Um, but they want quite a lot of money to connect it all up. And I'm like, well, my internet's generally okay. Other than, other than the fact I've just uploaded a 30 gigabyte 4K cab ride video. Um, and I started uploading it last night and it only finished in the last hour. So maybe my internet isn't okay. Maybe I could could benefit from having the full fibre. Um, yeah, we'll do Connor. No worries, bud. I think it. I think it's probably going to be a hardware problem rather than a software problem. I'm high man. Yeah, uh, crazy. The signals do seem to take a long time to change. But I... Okay, that's not the stream stuttering. My computer has just dropped down to 15 FPS. Uh, it seems to be recovering now. Um, hey, Mergin Pashir. Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Welcome. But I like... Yeah, I like this because it, there's, there's a lot to do. There's a lot going on. There's a lot to keep me busy, and uh, yeah, that that really appeals to me. Um, Richard Hollingworth, signals are called at bar rather than danger. Okay, on the tram network we have proceeds clusters, um, proceeds clusters and bars, just to confuse things. No, that's no, good to know. Good to know. Uh, Merging. This looks a lot like Omzi. I have got to got to look at playing Omzi. Um, Joe, the British Ace. If you don't subscribe to Joe, uh, go and do that. Plays Omzi quite a lot. Um, and we were having a little conflab the other day. I do need to just have a look, little look at Omzi. A train swap from Somerset. Maybe lower the graphics settings. Shouldn't be a problem a train swap from Somerset at all. Um, the computer that I've got should be more than capable of uh, of handling that. I think it is. I think the computer. I think I think I've got a cooling issue more than anything. I think I need to look at like my thermal paste and that sort of thing. 
Right, we're going round to the right. Hopefully that's where we're supposed to be going. Uh, Connor, I haven't got a wheel for OMSI, but my dad's got one. I can just temporarily nick that. He's got like a Logitech one with... Um, it's got all three pedals on it. He's got the clutch and everything else. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. Got forced feedback on it and all that sort of good stuff. I'd, I'd have to nick it off of him. I just walk through the doors. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, I guess the Loco is a class 220. Ah, interesting. Um... Paris one, yeah. Could be, could be. Let's get these doors shut. Right, the, the we have the bar. Is it the bar is on or we have the bar or or how would we say it? Um Who was, who was telling us earlier? We've got the A. And we're off. The AI is pretty intelligent in this as well. It doesn't seem too bad. It is busy. The AI is really busy. Alright, that's me. We are good to go around to the right. And we've caught up the train in front. Now, we don't crash into trams, otherwise the stream will crash. This kind of just seems to be what happens. There's no passengers on that tram. Debra, can we look at the Discord chat? Do you know what? We absolutely can whilst we are stopped. There we go. Oh, Pacers. Party on a Pacer. And beautiful 47. I do like a 47. And Train Boys posted some fire engines as well there. Um, and if you want to join our Discord community, you can do. You'll find an invitation link down in the description below. Um, crazy plays. Oh, we got rooted on the wrong line and now going off map. Uh... So, yes. Is that something I've done crazy? Maybe I should... Okay, so that's just despawned. Interesting. Um, what do you reckon... I know you can't see the game. What do you reckon we should do crazy? Do you reckon we should just carry on? Or do we have any way of putting the tram into reverse? Doesn't see... The reverse the lever doesn't seem to... Kind of want to work. Um, going off map will not be a good thing. Yeah, this does look very off map ish. Is there a map view? I don't think there is, Connor. There you go. They said the earth was round. We've just proved it. Flat earth is a thing. Let's not go down that road. <laughs> Flat Earth is a thing. <laughs> oh dear. Um, okay, Crazy. What I'd like to do is have a look at the underground section. So you you know the area quite well, Crazy, or the game quite well. Um, if we go back to menu, driver report terrible. Fell off the end of the world. If we go if we go back to create a new game, um, if I put it in timetable mode. What what entry stage? So route one, we can use we can keep it on the E2 because I quite like driving that. Um, crazy. If we want to do the underground section, what would be our best entry station? Uh, um, whilst we're waiting for an answer, let's press that one there. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location and get those numbers in. Um, What should, what should we be looking for to do the underground section? Right, Vince is number four. 
Nick Fleming says number 12. Uh, Karis Monia, 23. Let's play. Let's play. Locomotive livery location. Right, going to give you number three. Ten seconds. Uh, was it number three? 23. Sorry, 23. Locomotive livery location. If you can, please. So, little hint. This is one we've done before. Um, because I've kind of... We are up to about... I think I've got 85 locomotive livery, livery, locomotive livery location pictures uh, in the system at the moment. Um, so this is one we've done before that I've just picked at random. So tell me what you think of this. Right, uh, crazy plays. I did kind of pick up on your comment there. Um, entry is Stefan Fadding Platz. Okay, that's really well. That's the direction of travel. Okay, entry station. Do we want to... Maybe we want to change the di... Oh, there we go. Entry station, Stefan Fadding... I... I want to be really careful how I say that. Right, let's give this a go. Um, yeah, Jag 1. This is uh, Vienna. Um, Trams in Munich is also out. I don't have Munich, um, but I, I am very tempted to pick it up. Ashley Cole's LNER. Great, the train guy, DVT, LNER, King's Cross. Fair 6x6 six six grid was supposed to make this game harder. <laughs> right, okay, back to game. This is looking a little bit more urban. Um, crazy, I think I'm going to consult you before we take any turns anywhere. Because uh, he doesn't seem to be going too well for me. Right. It's nice to see different bits of the, even if we're not managing to su to successfully complete a route. It's still nice to sort of see, you know, different bits of the route and different bits of the game, sort of how it changes. It's looking a bit more sort of suburban compared to where we were um, on the last route. Okay, we do have a wheelchair passenger. I don't think this tram is accessible though. Um, it's like four or five stops till the underground section would start. Ah, that's perfect. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing this tram isn't accessible, so we can't pick up the wheelchair passenger. Um, yeah, that's that's not very good. If you've got the other, if you're playing in the flexicity tram, I think it's called, um, then you have got the wheelchair ramp on there that you can deploy, which is a really nice game feature. This does also have COVID mode on it, and all your passengers will be wearing masks. Why are my doors not wanting to lock? There we go. Right off we go. Richard, we need a 48 by 48 grid. <laughs> I haven't got enough buttons on the stream deck to do that. Although, you're not wrong. Windtenstrasse. Hey, Amy, good evening. Waiting for a friend to come over whilst tinkering with an American TV box. The Davros stream is the perfect topping to the ADHD sandwich. Ah, uh, you're in good company here. Stream Deck XL. Connor, I've got a Stream Deck XL. That's the problem. <laughs> I can have multiple pages. Um, to your left, there is a water clearing station. Oh, okay, like a pumping house or something, like a, a waterworks. I can't get the stream deck up to the camera. There you go. The lead's not long enough. 
Yeah, you can have, you can have multiple pages on it, so technically it could be done. It just take me a week to find the one that we actually want. Uh. Right, we're gonna have to make sure we don't. Actually use the mirrors, get some usage out the mirrors. Oh, we got a tram right behind us. Have we got a tram right behind us or are we just long? Poststraße. Bitte seien Sie achtsam. Andere brauchen Ihren Sitzplatz vielleicht notwendiger. 64 by 64 would be. We should have like a, um, a locomotive location livery ultimate edition or something like that. You do like, you know, one box every stream. Oh, I'm putting ideas into my head now. I mustn't do that. Anyway, talking of cab ride videos, if you want to see a cab ride video, um, Arding Lie to Acton Lane Reception via the Brighton Main Line, News Valley Viaduct, Free Bridges, Gatwick Airport, all of that sort of thing. Part one of that video um, is out now to channel members. Channel membership starts from 99p. And um, it will be released to the general public tomorrow at midday. Uh, and that is a nice 4K video with commentary and a little map and all sorts of fancy things that I love doing. We're just opening the doors again now. Right, let's get going. Hey! Oh! I went for the bell and opened the door. I quite like this end of the route. This is this is the kind of what I'd call the nice end of town. Don't hit the car. No, we'll try not to. The gradient is... The AI is pretty smart. I like the fact the AI does actually stop. It helps that you've got decent brakes as well. It gives me a fighting chance to actually... <laughs> I'm saying it's got decent brakes and then managed to almost kill everybody on board. We're doing really well there. Um, I will update you on max speed. 50. 50 down here just seems really fast. I'm guessing we've got to follow the kind of traffic lights as well as the, the street lights. Um, Rich, could I suggest to you it would be cool if you made, in essence, Jeff Marshall-style videos like Leashy Station, just to fall. Jeff's kind of done all of those, Nick. Um, I would like to kind of do... So there's a YouTuber called G Loves Trains. Um, I don't know if you've seen G Loves Trains. Um, she does some pretty good content. But I would like to kind of sort of do the style of stuff she does, um, but in sort of my own way. So sort of looking at, like, for example, going out on the Brighton Main Line or my local line, the Marsh Link, getting some drone footage and sort of talking about the line, the stations, the stuff you can see. Um, splat. Knöllgasse. Umsteigen zu six. In Richtung Geiereckstraße. Right, crazy. What indication do we want? Where do we want to be going? Straight on or... Stop! I can't even see the indication now. Straight on around to the right. What are we reckoning? Straight onwards. Okay, we'll make sure we get the right indication when we do get the indication. That's assuming I haven't gone too far over the points. Okay, that's given us the indication round to the right. We don't want to take that then. 
Oh, no, that's straight on all right. So which way is that going to take me? Because if that takes me around to the right, we're... I, oh, right, okay, so we might have been okay with that previous indication. Um, I don't want to get this wrong. Going right will take you on line six towards the depot. So that previous signal was straight on all round to the right. So do I need to look at which way the points are set? I've definitely stopped way, close to, way too close to be doing that. The points are set to go straight on, so that should be okay then. So we'll wait until we get the signal. We'll do this properly. And then hopefully we're going straight on. See, we need tram experts in the stream. Okay. We done a thing. We got it right. There's a first time for everything. And now we're going underground. Going underground. London underground. Behave. Okay, I saw the speed limit sign that side that time. I don't know if you guys can see that. It says low level fatal error, file unknown, retry not successful. The UE4 train sim Vienna game has crashed. Not the computer, just the game. We're at Matt Lin's La Matt Len Sindo. Let's Let's jump straight back in at Matt Lin Sindo. So that's not a computer problem, that's a game problem. And the annoying thing about that is I done a full verification of the install files earlier on because Tramsim wouldn't load, so I have to do re uh, verify the integrity of the game files. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's just not a computer problem this time though, which is really, really annoying. These these B sods are not. It's not a common occurrence. It's just certain games and programs seem to be causing um, issues. I might have to just bite the bullet and do a, a, a full format. Right? Why that is doing its thing, as Connor says. Post your numbers now. Let's do a local for locomotive location delivery. delivery location. And I nearly crashed into another tram. Yeah, as Amy says, I I, I was fine. Saved my bacon. The game crashing. Um, other people that play this, is this game normally quite unstable or is it normal? I mean, it is sort of partly to do with Dovetail, maybe so. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't say things like that, being an ambassador. Uh, okay, so we were on Route 1. Where were we? Um, direction of travel was that. I can't remember what station we were at. Um, some, someone just, someone go back a little, someone go back to the pre-crash and just tell me what station we were at, because I've completely forgotten, and why someone's doing that, GJ, um, you're the third one on my screen, my friend, with number 32. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Okay, here we go, box number 32, 10 seconds, Locomotive, 32 is a bit of a cop-out, you only get half a box. But let me know all the same. I mean, maybe that helps. Uh, Jack, thank you very much. Does it help? Let me know. Let me know. Right, Matt Lin Sinso. Right, okay. Entry station. It's not going to give me that as an option for the entry station, is it? Oh, that's so annoying. Um, 
Matt, Lin- Matt Linsdorf Platz isn't selectable as an entry point station. Uh, which one should we go for then, Crazy? What would be the best entry point station? Uh, that's so, so annoying. Um, London Paddington, says Ashley, for Ellen, uh, for Ellen ER, for locomotive location delivery. Um, I don't... Uh, yeah, Karis Monia, that's the one. Um, use Canal Glass as the entry station. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this. Frustration. The frustration is real. Um, train Sim doesn't get those errors. No, Train Sim seems to run absolutely fine. Classic and um, we Classic and Train Sim World run fine. We were doing Transport Fever yesterday. It ran absolutely fine. Um, my son's been playing Bendy and the Ink Machine all day, and that's been running absolutely fine so it's anyone's guess as to kind of what's going oh we're in the wrong tram now as well aren't we we're back into okay that that's not a problem we'll um we'll carry on in this tram in the flex city i think it's called And if it crashes in exactly the same place, that'll kind of prove that there's definitely something wrong with my version of the game here. Right, perfect. Okay, it's... Doors open. Um, train Sim World has similar crashes for me sometimes. Um, Amy, the only time I've had major issues with Train Sim Classic, I'll be completely honest with you, is... That's gone to red. Do I still have to obey that red or can I go because I've got the little arrow thing? I'm guessing I've got to obey the red. Um, the only time I've had issue with Train Sim World is when I've had modifications installed, when I've got community mods installed. Uh, other than that, it's been absolutely fine for me. Um, however, I break the game a lot with my cursed formations like TGV Power Car hauling 51 for two coaches. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, though. I'll give you that. That, that is pretty awesome formation. Right, let's see what happens this time. Fingers crossed. A, get ready to go. Um, that's telling us the route is set for straight ahead. And we are off. Remember, there might be another tram down the bottom of this hill that we probably don't want to crash into. is very fast. Right, please don't crash. Same place as before. Um, So, computer-based experts, the game has crashed twice in exactly the same place. Would you say that was a hardware problem or a game problem? Um, for me, doing that twice in the same place has got to be something with that particular area of the game. My files, it doesn't like it, all of that. This really hasn't gone to plan tonight, is it? Come, come, come and give me a hug, wife. I feel like I need a hug. Uh, I, need, I need a hug because it's, it's all gone horribly wrong. Yeah, that's a game issue. I, at, at least it was only my fault one time. But then it could have been the game that caused the blue screen of death. You know, the, the so who knows? Who knows? Karis you try task manager. I don't know what that's going to do. Yeah, Vince, the funny thing is you say verify the files in Steam. I literally done that before I started the stream. Um, because the game wouldn't run at all. It kept, kept pressing play and it just wouldn't start. So I verified the files and this is where we're at. So yeah, it could be a complete reinstall. But um, Connor Eaton, it's repeatable. It's game. We'll go with that. Right, okay. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. For the most unsuccessful stream of the year. <laughs> do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you some random boxes. 
I don't think you need any more than that. That's just, just one box at random. Come on, guys. We'll wrap this up and then we're going to go to bed. Well, I'm going to go to bed. Because I've been a... It's, it's been a long day today. What is it? Where is it? I think you could... I, I think it's quite gettable from that. Um, we will do another stream. We'll probably be back on... Not probably. We'll be back on Train Sim um, sometime next week. I'm also thinking about doing... I'm also thinking about doing um, Transport Fever 2 as a streaming series. We've been doing it in the members only stream, but it's been going down quite well. So I'm thinking about doing that on the general channel as well. So um, be interested to hear what you think about that. Um, uh, great the train guy. The blue screen is something that basically says your PC has something wrong with it. The black screen is worse though. A bug in the software. Uh, typical Nathan, Mark 4 DVT LNER. King's Cross. Great, the train guy says the same. Northern Prince Production has gone for the same. Connor Eaton has gone one better and said platform free at King's Cross. It's time to reveal today's locomotive livery location. Uh, to be honest, Connor, I don't know the platform. Northern Princess Productions, you, you would probably be able to identify the platform there. LNER Class 82 DVT at King's Cross. That picture was sent in by Logan in a kind of weird sort of font thing. What I will do, I'll show you the original picture as well because I can do that. Um... There we go. That was the original picture that we had up. I was going to say you can guess the location now, but it's come up on the screen for you. And of course, I normally Photoshop out the numbers, and you've got the numbers straight away. Um, it was interesting, though, on the first one, how a couple of people turned around and said uh, 66s and 59s. So, um, yeah. And if you do want to send me any pictures for locomotive location delivery, you can do via the website www.dadrail.co.uk. There we go, guys. So, I... Um I'm really sorry that it hasn't gone to plan. We shall regroup, try and get it fixed and working, and then try and have a, a proper stream on Tram Sim. And I'll make sure it's well advertised and uh, give you plenty of notice and everything like that. Connor, I will drop you a message because I will definitely take you up on your kind offer of help. Um, everybody else, thank you very much for... I would not I would say watching, but I'm going to say thank you very much for tolerating this stream. I think that's probably fairer. Uh, typical Nathan Trainsport from Berkshire. Um, Gareth Kemp on the membership there, Norman Princess Productions, and I've seen RT in and Astro uh, moderating as well. So thank you very much, everybody, for your help and support. Really is appreciated. I'm pressing that button there. I'm going to go and hang my head in shame and cry. I could do have a tub of Ben and Jerry's, but I'm starting a diet on Monday, so I'm not allowed. It's not Monday, though, is it? Monday. See you in the next one.